Let's go. We. <laughs> like most nine-year-olds, Keller Nash is at home on the playground. A little banged up. It's sort of like a boot to protect it. Toughing it out, but says he still hurts all over. My foot, my rib, and my cheek. And above his cheek, that black eye, an unwanted reminder of a scary moment. Oh my God, this thing just blew. Oh crap! That's an inflatable slide stuck in the power lines at the Springwell Church Festival over the weekend. Keller and four other kids were inside a bounce house that was also blown away. And it tilted up and I didn't think I could get out in time. So I held onto the rope and it flew up in the air and I hit and I blacked out and I woke up and I heard sirens. Deputies say they saw a funnel-like dust cloud sweep through the area. Look closely at this video. People are standing under those power lines, which ended up snapping moments later. A local fire official says a safeguard put in by Duke Energy caused the electricity flowing through these power lines to automatically shut off when that inflatable was blown into the lines. I think it saved their lives. Keller's parents weren't there, but they were reunited in the ER with their bloody and bruised third grader. They started crying and I started crying too. The Springwell pastors were there at the ER and they prayed with us um, and they prayed especially for Keller. Looking back at it all, Love the you. family is thankful for those prayers. God was holding me in his hands during the whole thing. Corey Davis, WYFF News 4 in Greenville County.